Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the stream. I'm a little late, uh, but we are ready to go. Oh, and it's already set up properly. Very nice. Wait, no, it's not. Hold on. Need to do some things. But but while I'm doing this, um, I have a special guest with me today. Uh, a friend of mine decided to help me out. Um, why don't you introduce yourself? Hello. I'm Ethan. Or Slade. Whichever. Uh, so he is going to be my, uh, my guinea pig for today. Um, this is the very first prototype of this game. So um, you get to be on the on the ground floor, I guess, uh, I, of this project. I would prefer that when this game comes out, my name to be credited uh, <laughs> first. I'll put I'll put you in the rule book somewhere. Um, okay. So, um, the goal for the stream today is to just play some rounds, play as many as we um, as we could stomach, I guess. Uh, I don't know if we'll go a full two hours. I don't know how long the game, like a game, is gonna take, but um, yeah. Based well, off the uh, the initial like jumping in, getting a feel for the rules, so that it doesn't get weird on stream. I think the average game will run probably like fifteen to twenty minutes. It depends on modifiers, I think, and how many people you run. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like um, the nature of this game seems like it'd be pretty short. Um, but we'll see. So, uh, I explained the rules last stream, but I'll give a quick refresher as we go. So, what we need to do first is, if you'll help me, Ethan, set up the game. Um, we set up the game first by filling up the rim here with letter tiles. <clears throat> with letter tiles, excuse me. Uh, drawn randomly from the bag. Boosh. Um, hmm. Okay. That'll do. I was gonna say, the, um... The special tiles... I don't know how to orient them. Should we orient them randomly, or just how we get them out of the bag? But I guess I guess we'll just do it like this. Oh yeah, I guess that's a good point. Yeah, I'd, I'd say probably just however you get them out of the bag. Maybe that's something whenever whenever we get further into the game when you start designing the pieces of your own. Do yeah. Like a uh, a six nine thing where you put a line underneath, put like a little line on the bottom of the arrow to indicate that that is the bottom of the tile. Oh yeah. So you can orient it. Um, okay, so now this is the setup for the game. And we're each going to draw eight tiles. 100 and 109. Okay, no, that makes sense. Like, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And I don't know how to decide who goes first. I guess we could just... I don't want to have... I don't want to put a dice a, or a die in this game. Uh, I'd like to keep it as, as streamlined and simple as I can. So I guess we can just decide amongst ourselves. Or like... The younger player goes first. Yeah, you can do what some games do. Where they put in the rules that like... Just like a random... The, the person who goes first is the person who suggested playing the game to begin with. Yeah, yeah. For now, we'll do youngest player. Which I believe should be you. Yes, I am uh, I'm a young man. Uh, okay. But before we do anything, before we get in here, I want to go ahead and bring up a point of contention. Okay. In the hand, do you have rules for special pieces in the hand? I, I drew an arrow, a blue arrow. I'm not really sure how that would function. Uh, okay, so if you want to put that into Word, you can um, you treat it as a blank tile whenever you play it. And oh, so you just like, attach it to the end of a word? Yeah, or in the middle. Uh, what, wherever you want to put it, and you can choose to orient it however you want when you place it in. Okay. Got a little momentum on there. Uh, so Ethan, you get to go first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forming a word. The few vowels short of 
a nice long word to begin with, so I think I'm just going to keep it safe. Keep it short and sweet. Oh, the cart. I'm going to get these all kind of close so I can select them. Okay, all the booba Okay. Right, that's me. So the beginning stages of the game are just getting the grid filled up because we can't win yet until the grid has been filled. So let's see, what do I want to do? Well, cool, because otherwise I would have just won, right? You yeah. I mean? mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the reasoning there. Like you would have just won first turn, and I couldn't do anything about it. Um. Need to run a few negates in the deck. <laughs> no. No, that's not a word. Go. E. N. You think this would be easy since there's no like real restriction here? I guess I should just. Only as easy as the letters you have around the board. Yeah. And this kind of bottom U T V E W is just yeah, it's a little, little all over the place. It's a little whack. Um, I would also like to note, uh, before we go forward, that you can move these outside ones like this if you want. Um, just to give oh, yourself. Really? Yeah, wow. you could you could build off this way if you want, to give yourself sort of a. If you if you want to sort of change your options on the outside, then that's something you can do. Um, block. Okay. Ah, wait. Okay. Here we go. Boss. The hardest part is lining these things up properly. Yeah. One, two, 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 two. Ka clang. Okay, there you go. All right, and then at the uh, the end of the round, I guess we draw up. Yeah. Uh, that's how we're gonna do things for now. Seven, Yikes. eight. Some goofy letters. <laughs> there is a blank right here that you can use. I think I actually. Doze. Okay, like bulldoze. Yeah. Gotcha. Are you playing with a third person camera by chance? Um I think so, why? I find it personally easier to move these things around with a top down view. Just cuz you don't have to guess with the alignments and stuff. I'm not sure how to change that. Um if you right click just on the board itself and select camera mode, you can change it to whatever you want. Okay, so now now we're eligible to win. Um, if I make uh, it is a winning word though, but that does not currently count it because it wasn't placed. Yeah, because you didn't make it on your. Well, yeah, you have to you have to make the winning word on your turn. Got you. Um. So let's see what I can do here. OK, 
Okay, if I can do that. One, two. Have to go this way. Nem. Is Nem a word? N E M? I don't believe so. Nem? Uh, that's in Forge. It's in Forge. Even. Does that put you in the victory? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Let me see. Right, I need to do this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's Eve right there. Oh yeah, sure enough, just the word that you put in there. All right, a quick, a quick game. Go. That's raw. Should we, should this be like best two out of three, or? Uh, probably for two players, right? Oh crap. Uh, how do I get rid of this ruler? There we go. For two players, yeah, I think best two out of three would work. Um. Or it's like I, one of those games where it's like it just depends, <clears throat> right? So if you have two people, you could choose. To play more because obviously one game was very short yeah so that's that's uh that's basically how the game works that's the uh that's all there is to it really we didn't really use any of the special tiles um in that particular instance but um yeah that should give you a gist of how this how this works yeah i'd like to i would like to see more so that we can see the how the special tiles interact with the game yeah, I, I I put those in there as a way to sort of you know, add some add some interest, some tactical interest to the game. I don't know if I mean I haven't tested them yet, which is why we're here. So I don't know if they'll actually serve it well, but we'll see. It's at currently since I've only played it one time, it's hard to think in terms of like I I don't know what the word would be like the like the not physics, but like the like how the the like seeing how the tiles are gonna move before they do, you know? Oh yeah, like uh, as you're playing even trying to figure out if you'd won or not. Yeah, it's just one of those things where you have to wait until everything's in place. Yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard to, to think ahead. Yeah, to visualize it, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so, shall you go first again, or should we, like, swap? Sure, why don't you go first this time? Okay. So, I am going to do... Hmm. Let's do let's do something a little let's do something a little wacky. Do I'll play off of this one. I'll say this is a D, and this is an N for Dawn. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
So these letters over here on the on the outside, those can be either the first or the last letter of the word. Um No, it's so like the the ones on the rim are the first letters. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Like a, like a spasm. I believe that's the uh, correct usage of that word. You know, now that I think about it, I shouldn't have used the the red arrow so early because it doesn't really do anything for me. You couldn't win anyway. Perhaps it's good in these first rounds to go ahead and get it in the grid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like, you know, just to just to put it out there. I'm not sure. Six, seven, eight. I mean, obviously, neither of us know what the best strategy is yet for this game. So just feeling things out. I mean, unless unless you know something that I don't already. Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> this is like chess. You, you use the John J. Mary opening. I now how, know how to win in the next two... Turns. <laughs> it already got data mined. It's just a prototype. Yeah, winning strategy was legal. It is. It's like I gotta shuffle the letters in my hand around. A eight eight. Okay. Your move. It is indeed. So, chat, for anybody that might be wondering, um, what happened to the other letter game that I was working on uh, before? Well, uh, actually, Ethan Ethan here and uh, another friend of mine did uh, did a play test the other day. And uh, I I sort of came away with it thinking, like, you know, I think this needs, I think this needs a lot, like, a, like if anything, it needs, like, a major rework. You know, it felt like really slow and I like it worked but I don't know it just I don't think it was as engaging or fun as I wanted it to be so I'm gonna go ahead and shelf that project for now and uh that it I started a, it was a fun concept sorry to cut you off it was a fun concept and I think that it is still good it felt like more like you were battling the board than your opponents though yeah, the I think my main problem was that there are so many systems that I put in there that I don't think complemented each other at all. And it, it just needs like a reevaluation. Uh, so I, I I put that on the shelf and decided to brainstorm another letter tile game, and uh, ended up coming with coming up with with this that we're playing right now. Um, all right, I'm treating that that um red arrow as an N for the word ends. An N? Okay, ends. Okay, gotcha. Yes, ends. Um, and I thought that I would go ahead and try out some of that strategy, throwing a red letter there, getting rid of both vertical and horizontal. So now we have to build only with diagonal. If you'll notice, this is taking up the middle. Hmm. So it's impossible, essentially, to win at this moment. I'm, I'm elongating the game. Well, actually... These arrows only mean that up or to the right are invalid. So so down still works. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So that you can only win on this row right yeah. here. Down or or here, because you. Oh yeah, to the. Yeah. To the other. Or here. You can go. You can go left. 
or down or diagonals. Okay, so words can be read from right to left. I didn't know yeah. That. Okay, interesting. So you can you can read words in any direction as long as it's not like a ninety degree angle or something. But it has to be three letters, correct? So it yes. you can only win on this L right here. You couldn't win up top. Uh, well, the arrows aren't block like they're still they still count as letters. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and you get to choose the letter as you place the word, or did we lock in the letter? Uh, you lock in the letter when you declare it first. So, this is still a D, and this is still an N. A D and an N. Which might be hard to keep track of if there are several of them, but I guess we'll yeah. get there when we get there. Um, I just didn't want I didn't want the special tiles to just be taking up space, you know. Um, if there were multiple of them, but. We can we can evaluate That's that fair. as I mean, we this go. Is a, this is a pro prototype, right? Please yeah. Proceed. So let's see. Um, what do I got? That would be. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. N. E. Is ids a word like I D S? Don't believe so. Ids. Like the id and the ego. <laughs> You can have multiple. Well, you can't have multiple ids, I guess. Doesn't make any sense. Um. You'd be surprised to learn that Scrabble Dictionary considers that a word because an id is a fish. Really? So if you have multiple of them, you have a bunch of ids. Well, I'll be. <laughs> hmm. Or people consider the connotatively the, the the acronym ID to have become its own word. So ID is the the uh, plural of ID. Hmm. Huh. That's okay. I mean, I get I, I I can roll with that. I guess it's a little weird. It's become a slang term. So I'm I'm declaring this as an I for is. Okay. Have you won? Have I? Um, um, let's see. I don't believe so. That's a D, I. Uh, I can't go that way. I go that way. N, E, D, N, T, T. No. There, there isn't a winning word in here yet. letters in my hand, so let me tell you. One thing I considered was making it so that maybe you could only declare the special tiles as vowels. Uh, what do you think about that? It could work. Um, I could see that. Or you could, we could, you could even denote, like, um, 
certain tiles being vowels, like the blue, the arrows could be vowels, but like the blanks or the um, locks could be consonants. I don't know, mm -hmm. but that's a good idea as well. I kind of like the idea of the just pure blank tile being able to be anything, and the rest of them have sort of like restrictions. Yeah, restrictions. issue with that is declaring that as an E. Yeah. Declaring that as an L. Yeah. Yes. Declaring this <laughs> yeah. as an F. Yes. So, uh, if we go ahead and do this. Did you just make eels? I sure did. And if you'll notice. <laughs> oh no. Uh, no. Actually, I had the arrow flipped in the wrong thing because it reads from the opposite way. So I did not win because of the blue arrow it has to be read left to right. So. Um, oh, that's right. <laughs> I've messed up, but that was to prove a point. I, I, that was intentional. That was a that's a that's a good uh, that's a good point though. So if they're able to be any letter, you have problems like that. Yeah, that's yeah. I kind of anticipated that issue. Um. I've been sitting on those for a while. <laughs> that's an E. That's an L. That's a D. That's an I. Um, maybe that's what we should use the note card for. <laughs> Keep track of what yeah. all these blanks are. Fair as well. But mm. the game notes, I'm going to write that down. Um, six, seven... So, the red arrows don't really matter anymore, because the blue one is here. That's fair. Um, so I need to make a word that goes from left to right, horizontally. Oh, I did... Okay, how can I do that? Two, three. I need, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Let's see. S. S I. D. E. Side. Side. And I think you've won. I do believe I have with die. 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 Yes. Well done. Thank you. GG. GG indeed. <laughs> I can't believe they're gone. I wonder, should we should we just leave the current ring there for the next round? So we don't have to like change quite set it up bit. again. True. So it's not like the game will be any similar of how much we move it around. Yeah. But also, this is not that hard. I did jot down that, um, obviously, the interactions of having so many specials in your hand mm -hmm. giving you a free word. Um, and then I also made note of. That was supposed to go. Uh, you, you made the, the point that, um, with the, the red tiles being out, uh, the introduction of a blue kind of just gets rid of them. Mm -hmm. But also, you have the black tile in the game, which, like, you know, it locks it up until that has to be moved out. <clears throat> so I think that there may be presently 
consider a rework of either the black or the red arrows because they seem kind of almost similar yeah in a way of just oh you can't win the game until this is gone or you can't lose until this is gone essentially maybe you treat the blacks like like a complete void not making you lose the game but like a, a hole in the board so there can't be a letter there i think that could pose something quite interesting considering that blanks and the current form of the specials is being any letter that you want or maybe even if they change to vowels having that one be so easily manipulatable manipulatable it would be interesting to have the black to be the exact opposite of the blank and some of the uh, the arrows so it I still incentivizes you to move it but it doesn't lock the game yeah i think it's a good idea um Just the at, then you need to think about how would you be able to incorporate it into a word if it's nothing, you know. True, and if it's in your hand, why would you play it? Yeah, right. Unless unless you think that your opponent is about to win, but then how do you know? How would you? I mean, if it, if it's no letter, how do you fit it in a word? Because if you just throw it at the end, then it's just gonna be at the ring, right? Yeah. Because the end of the word is always at the ring. Hmm. Yeah, the, the special tiles definitely are the thing that... Well, I think the special tiles are really the only thing that uh, we're able to like adjust and look at in a significant way. I think the overall like structure of the board itself seems sound. Yeah, um, I do as well. I think I, I think I could see it potentially being interesting for more players or harder difficulty upping the board size. Yeah. By one in every dimension. That could be fun. That could be interesting as well. It's a relatively simple game, so that would be a simple adjustment too. Three is definitely the, the smartest way to do it, but give a more experienced group mm -hmm. or a larger group. Four wouldn't be that hard either. I think the hand size is good for now. Um, especially, I was I was thinking when we first started playing the first two matches, maybe it's too big. But then last game, I I had a hand of like D W Y Y B T. Yeah. For the longest time, and I was like, <laughs> "Thank God that it's eight. That I have three specials <laughs> after that." Well, yeah, I have right. Three specials I had because like it was impossible. To, I had no vowels. Yeah. So I think eight is the optimal. Okay. You went first last round. I think I'll go first this round. Yes. I'm just keep switching back and forth. I think. I think. Um. We could. Like, you know, play around with the frequency of the special tiles, you know, what they do. I think that's going to be the key here to sort of balancing out the game. Um, but yeah, definitely them all acting as blanks probably is a little too powerful. It's almost it's almost to the point too powerful where it's 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 not powerful at all, even. It feels like the, the, the specials are supposed to be throwing a wrench in the game. Yeah. But at presently... It's not a wrench, it's just tools to build a word. They're like the win condition. Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Whereas hmm. they should they should be the win condition when they need to be, like the blue. But also a something to work around so that instead of us just trying to uh, playing four rounds and get the three letter word, of hmm. uh, playing five or six or seven to move the board like that Rubik's cube to get the full intent of uh, what you're going for in this game, I think. Okay, I just thought of this. What if, right? What if there's only one special tile at a time? And during the setup, it gets placed in like the middle or like a random spot inside the grid. So then, you know, it already starts off there and you have to push it out, you know? So then you don't have to worry about implementing it into words because you don't have to build off of it. Or build it into words because it's already inside the grid. So it'll never be in your hand. Yeah, yeah, but but then at that point you're just playing you're just playing a modified version of Scrabble. I don't I think I think the specials are what add kind of like a um, <laughs> for lack of a better term um, a je ne sais quoi to the game. Yeah, you know? like it a... adds that wrench. It adds the fun. Yeah. So I don't think I, that that's definitely a, an idea. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm not saying that it's good mm -hmm. uh, because I haven't played it. But I think that the, the frequency doesn't seem to be the issue. It's just how they interact with the board. 
and how they interact with the game. I do genuinely think that restricting some of the arrows to to be certain letter types is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And then maybe maybe with that changing the black tile, but we haven't got to see the black tile in the grid. And I see one kind of over here on the edge. So yeah, let's play a few more a few more games. Okay. Get more of this um, interaction. So currently, just to be clear, the, this could be any letter. The yeah. Black tile. Okay, I think By I'll, our current rule set here. Yeah, I think I but want to interact with that a little bit more. I do have an idea here, though. So I'm going to treat that as a T. Okay. And I just want to move it down a little. So I'm going to, if I can push it into the board, I'm going to make the word twig. Over twig. On the outside. That's a classic tree-themed word. And then we're going to scoot this down, not quite into the other corner. So I'm going to find it. Cool. Oops, that, that needs to stay. These need to go. Get out of here. I don't want it anymore. So Excellent. Straight this up. Uh, while I do that, go ahead. So that's a T. Yeah, it's a T. Is add-on a word? Like A-D-D-O-N? Uh, or is yeah, that I slang? I believe that's hyphenated. Oh, yeah. Well, I've seen it unhyphenated before, but I don't know if that's proper English. That's true. Long. I'm gonna... Engineering has to say the, that's the running... <laughs> I'm gonna do. Oh no, Scrabble does not consider that a word. Add, of course, is. And also, for future reference, add on without the hyphen is not proper English. Good to then know. Again, saying something is not proper English is like saying that it's. it's you, didn't, you didn't pull it out of thin air properly. Yeah, right. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with want. Want, okay. No downward words, interesting. I'm gonna draw back up to eight here. True. Yikes. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. really no rhyme or reason for doing what I'm about to do, but I just want to, just to say I did. Sif? I do... No. Sif? Sif? That's an O. Okay. Siphon? And this will be an N. Siphon. That's a good word. Yes. Siphon. Look at him go. I know that this is not going to be here anymore. <laughs> I know that this isn't going to be here anymore. And I know that that is also not going to be here anymore. So let's just pick up... Forward thinking. Up. Bam. Okay. Oh, 
was your letter right here? With, right? An I? That was... Well, no, because you just moved that H there. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. That was an A. That was an A. Want. Yes, want. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go with uh, imp. Good word. Thank you. Imp. Okay, draw back up here. Still a T from when I used it as twig, and I'm gonna do teen. Teen. Wow, I just made that word. You did just put it's imp fresh, in there and it is freshly in the bag. Okay. Well, at least this this arrow is gone. This arrow's out now. It's not well. Yeah. It's not out. I guess I could put it back in if I wanted, but uh. Currently, it doesn't matter. But yes, because the grid is still not full. If I can make one here this turn, then I would. Well, that's a that's a ruling that I was thinking of. If you if you fill it up on the turn, the same turn that you make the word, should it count as a win? Or should it be filled up prior? I don't see why not. That you shouldn't win? Because, I mean, what if you fill it up just for the person after you to win? Yeah. It would offer you no strategy and incentive to fill it up. You're just giving other people a win. So I don't see why that wouldn't be a rule. True. Okay. In that case, I'm going to see if I can't do anything there. Well, I mean, I, feel free to to do the best you can. Black tile is currently in. You're right. It's I can't win. I for gore. Um, so maybe maybe the black tile is nice in its current state. Uh, uh. I think if you amend it to where the black tile cannot become a letter, it wouldn't be too damaging. Only if it was on the outside. But you have ways of interacting with the outside without using it in the word. As I did with Siphon, moving everything out of the row completely. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's interesting. Definitely puzzling to think about. Ads. Okay. Ads. Not like the ones you see every time you get on the internet yeah these are the these are the these are the good ads mathematical there we go guess and had the black tile not been in play you would have won yeah if only maybe i should have taken that out first yeah cuz now if i can take it out um then the word ads would still be there, right? Yeah. Then I would win. Well, I mean, the word you win with has to be the one you make on the turn that you win. Uh -huh, okay, okay. I feel like that's probably fairly obvious. Why are there so many red, bro? Where the blue at? They're evenly distributed. I 
have a blue in my hand. I just haven't used it. And then I did play three reds in one turn. True. Um, sorry, sorry. Two? I think it was two reds in one turn. Either way, I, I, I introduced quite a bit. It's hard to. You're right. It's hard to visualize where the letters are gonna be at whenever your turn is all said and done. Mm hmm. Yeah, because if you if you make a three letter word off of the C, then you know the C is gonna move down two. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. So it's a little bit of mental math. I think this works? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna do it because I'm I'm not afraid to admit if I mess up. Do the word case. Case. Making a case for a win here. Uh oh. Here he comes. Assuming it all works out. Why doesn't it select that O? <laughs> there we go. Yes! The math has worked out. What did you make? Add. The pesky ones that you Adds again. Oh, <laughs> adds. Okay. I'm like, where? Where? Yeah, there it is. That's a win right there. Good game. Good game. Alright, shall we keep this set going? Shall we try to keep the outside? Just get rid of the inside? See how that plays? Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's just, uh, clear out the grid and leave the rim. That changes too much. Uh, but I will draw a fresh hand. Get rid of that pesky X that was in my hand. <laughs> Give it a good shuffle. We haven't seen much use of the blanks either. Like so the regular like ones? Yeah, because currently the red arrows are treated as blanks too, so. Moving a red arrow seems more impactful to the board. As opposed to moving a blank, you know? Mm-hmm. We can try uh, a different sort of rule set for the specials after this one. Or after this round. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think that's a, a good next step. Cause, or that'll be what they, four games that we played. Maybe even mm -hmm. five. With the, uh, the prototype rule set. Yeah. Iteration one. Oh, I guess um, it's my turn first, right? Yeah, I went first last time. Okay, okay. Hmm. Exit, egg, egg, exits. Exits. Or okay. egg, exit. Exit, egg. exiting. Okay. Wow, look at that. So, um, I believe the end state here is just three blue arrows in the middle. <laughs> Yep, similar to the play I made with Siphon. No real rhyme or reason, just wanna say you did it. Oh no, I'm sorry. Boosh. Got the arrows. There's a few letters at the bottom. So a T and two arrows. Just throwing it out there. Giving you something now to you, think about. You can only win going downwards or... Left. Left. Right to left. Relative to us, that is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, Skya. Welcome to the stream. Uh, don't know how long you've been there. I haven't looked over at my chat in a while. I think it's fresh. I looked 651. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome. 
We're uh, currently working on a new prototype today. We've played a few games, um, testing out different iterations, things like that. Uh, so far, I think the core game is working properly, as intended, but these these special tiles are giving us a lot to think about. Certainly quite a bit to think about, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I think I'm just going to try to fill the grid a little bit more. I don't want to get rid of that letter. I'm not sure how to do it. Oh boy, using the noodle here. <laughs> I'm not an English major. This really is a puzzle game. Yeah, yeah it is. It's um, I like to uh, I like to refer to this game as as Connect Four plus Boggle. Um, if you've played Boggle before. Uh, pretty pretty simple word game. Basically, you you roll a bunch of letter dice into a tray, and then okay. try to find as many words inside of it as you can. Interesting. That's cool. It's it's like three minutes to write down as many words as you can find. Pretty fun. Pretty casual. It is your turn, by the way, in case you, you forgot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking here. <laughs> no you know, worries. Surprisingly, um, words that contain the letter J often start with J. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of this J by putting it in a word. <laughs> but unfortunately, there's no real words with J in the middle. And there are, and there's some good options that I have, but I just... I'm one letter short. I have a blank tile that I can use to fill in a letter, but then after that, I need one more letter. I just can't seem to make it happen, so I think I'm going to just go with a safe bet here. I can't Shift I can't board. think of any words with J in the middle, actually. Um, uh, um, banjo is one of them. That's the one I was trying to do. Banjo. Uh, a jar? That's one. Like, it's the, the door's a jar. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Cajun, like seasoning. Cajun, yeah. Adjust. Jojo. Adjust. Jojo. Yeah, that's a good one. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm going to treat this like a B, and I'm going to do B A T. Um, and then. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll do that. Just to move it up, because I'm not trying to fill up the middle here too soon. I want to get that big. Get that dub. Get that dub. And then that was the end of the round, so now I'm gonna draw back up. I used two letters. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what do we got in my hand here? Dang, I almost had a really good one. Wait. Okay, I'll do tile. Okay. Tile. Topical. <laughs> I don't stay on topic most of the time, but I'll make an exception. Okay, that's all the red tiles moved out. Opening up my options. You know, I'd say the uh, the blue arrows are more restricting in their current state than the red. True. Which is ironic. Um, not to change the subject, 
but just while we're playing casual conversation, do you consider yourself a Lord of the Rings fan? Lord of the Rings? Uh, no, yeah. not really. I, I don't. Really? I don't know the last time I actually consumed any Lord of the Rings media. Um, well, have you seen the movies? No. Really? No, I've not seen. Maybe like in passing, like a friend of was watching it in the living room while I walked in, but like I've never, I've never committed myself to watching any of the movies now. Any particular reason? Um, I don't know. Just not a big movie watcher in general. And like, that's fair. Um, I don't know. It seems like one of those things that you just gotta like. It's like a big time sink in terms of movies, like relative to other movies. They can be. They can be um, for sure. And I hear that they're uh, they're walking simulators. So. Uh. <laughs> well, I'd say there's more fans for them than against them, but those are all um, I'd say valid arguments. But they're pretty good. And the reason why I brought it up is the Amazon Prime has the a new series set in the same universe, the Tolkien verse. <laughs> I, I hear, it. yeah, I I hear commercials for that sometimes. Rings of Power. Yeah, it's got two episodes out, both about an hour long. So, movies length. Just watching the two episodes by themselves. But the premise is really good, and you could watch the shows without watching the movies. But mm -hmm. I brought it up for fans, obviously. It's um, about the um, it's about something about dwarves, right? Uh, dwarves the... are a big part, and you get to see you get to see some of the dwarven kingdoms, which is not something you get to see in the movies. And you know everybody likes um, a typical fantasy dwarf that speaks in that sort of gaty accent. Yeah. Um, the I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf, and I eat rocks. You know. Yeah. Yes, essentially. <laughs> you can see their beautiful mountain city and more of that. They're also a point of controversy because um, uh, hold on, let me go ahead and make a word because I'm not sitting here. Yeah, something about the the um the dwarf queen or whatever. Yeah. People so were talking about. Dwarves in. Hold on, let me make sure that I'm spelling this right. Is this dwarves Dijon? Tolkien. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Was Dijon mustard, uh, but I need two letters for that. Uh, o and N. Um, dwarves in Tolkien lore, dwarven females are. I don't know why he chose to make this. They are indistinguishable, indistinguishable from the men. They have full beards. Um, <laughs> okay. And the show, for very obvious reasons, chose to not do that. Right. <laughs> Didn't even really give him a whole lot of stubble. Yeah. Um, not even like a little nope. soul patch. Nope. In Tolkien's verse, women have full beards. Hmm. Which is very interesting and um, kind of odd for his time, right? Because Tolkien, um, he passed somewhere in the 1900s, in the 20th century. I mean, it definitely, well, actually, I was going to say, it makes them distinct from other dwarves, but, I mean, didn't he kind of, like, invent kind of, dwarves in fantasy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it's not really a, a subversion if you're the one who made it up. He, he passed in 73 of uh, 1900. Hmm. May he rest in peace. You know, he was born in South Africa. Did you know that? I did not. Actually, I feel like maybe I knew that from the uh, the, the epic rap battles history episode with him in it. Um, I didn't know he had one. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's him versus um, George R. R. Martin. Oh, okay, makes <laughs> sense. All right, that's a. They have pretty intelligent matchups. Um, I don't remember what this was up here. That was a... No, that was an N, right? Was, I think that was from last round. I don't think it ever got used, but I'm not sure. Oh, right. This is an N. Um, yeah, an O and an N. No. Oh, and that's... Yeah, the, yeah. the full word Dijon is in there currently. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, well, crap. I'd like to win this turn, but this blue arrow is here. Um... Ijo isn't a word. No, no, it is not. There is no three-letter word that starts with something and ends with J O, right? Um, not to my knowledge. Excuse me. Ajo, Ujo, Ijo. Hmm.
with the um, the Rings of Power um, TV show is, I mean, it's in the name. It's about the um, the age in which the uh, the rings were first created. So the movies of Lord of the Rings take place after the rings were created, and there was a big ring war, and it's kind of like the, um, the ending of that timeline as the war kind of amasses to a climax. And then the ring has to be destroyed. Sorry, spoilers, but the movies have been out for a while. Yeah, that's 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 a long time ago in the timeline of the of the films, yes. right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so th this takes place when the rings were first made. So I think it's technically uh, at the beginning of the the third age or fourth fourth age. It's at the beginning of the age. And the the movies, the Lord of the Ring movies, take place at the end of that same age, hmm. which is a relatively short age comparison to the others I believe because it's the age of man and the ages kind of represent the the average age kind of like how long they ruled for and stuff ah uh, gotcha maybe the age of man takes place after the movies I'm not sure so when was like, Hobbit that's a prequel isn't it uh yeah that is a that is that also technically takes place after when the show would be set oh okay so it's like so, a pre-sequel yeah. if you will yeah, it, you actually get to meet some of the characters from the movies as they were younger, and considering that they're elves, it's got to be hundreds of years. <laughs> oh, right, I, yeah. I kind of forget that uh, elves live a long time. Yeah, they, they live, I think, even longer than high fantasy D&D elves. They live, live quite long, which is a point of contention in the movies. Between characters that would have, like, relations with characters who don't live as long yeah it's kind of look, look down upon okay you've gotten rid of the uh the blue arrows so now it's just whoever makes a word Damn. I mean, i've just served it up to you on a silver platter here i think you did yeah i think you did unless unless you're blind no, I I see where your where your pointer is. You're not blind. You're not I'm blind not, at all. Not in my current state. No, I'm not. But unfortunately, in order to build a word that I want to build, I would have to use a special, and I don't want to accidentally use a special that would mess me up. But I actually think that it doesn't matter. Yeah, I I think I've I think I've won. So we'll do. Um, okay, let's do this. Pat. P A, and this is a T. Pat. This will be an S for the word pats. Pats. Oh no. And if we just scoot this along on its line here. Bada bing, bada boom. That blank is a T. T I N. Tin. Tin. Good game. Dang it. It was indeed a good game. I can't right, believe I lost. I this always happens. I always lose at my own games when I play test them. It's it's crazy. I don't know how I do it. I think we're going uh, roughly even. I have not been keeping track. I know this is my first one. I think I've won two, and I think you've won three. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's two and two. Okay, so we want to try and what amend some of those rules. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So the problem I think right now with specials and correct me and add anything if I'm wrong here, is that um, they force players to memorize things, like a lot of things at once. Like I mean, it's not a lot, a lot of things, but you know, like four or five letters at a time to keep track of. Uh, yeah, it could be any letter at, at this current state. Yeah, um, that's, I mean, you're already having to think about what word you want to do and asking players to keep track of, like, blank letters seems like a little much. So, memorization is a is a problem. Um, I think right now they're too strong. Just Perfect. being able to be any letter that you want them to be. Um... So that, sh I think, should be limited somehow. And I put note here that maybe there are too many of them, but 
you know, if we adjust the other two things, then that wouldn't be as much of an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I think we so I think we could try a, a game or two of each of trying with the restrictions and then maybe if it's possible limiting the frequency and we can see which feels better. Yeah. Um, I I think I think though the main main problem with them is memorization. Okay. So, I want to try um I want to try something. Um well, actually, okay, I have a couple of suggestions. First was my first suggestion that they're not something that go in the hand, but, like, go into the board at the beginning or go onto the grid at the beginning during the setup. I think that could be could be helpful, too. I don't know how to limit it for the hand. Mm -hmm. um, well, maybe, maybe it's simple. Maybe, you know, like, the, the popular game Exploding Kittens, you have to, during the setup, separate some of the cards for the setup and then you can introduce them later so maybe for the setup you draw from an unadulterated you know draw pile yeah and then for the actual game go in remove all of the specials and then maybe at like the top of a round introduce um a special kind of randomly i don't know because because the problem with doing that is if we if we keep the game exactly the same and you just have specials come in around the around the rim and then you don't draw them later we'll get to the point where we push them all out and the game has lost, like I said, that modifier, which makes it yeah. fun. So you'd have to have a way to keep them in the game. Yeah, to like inject them in there. Yeah. So I think that's a good. I think that's a solid idea. Um. So how? Do you want to try around with that that rule set in there and see how that works? Yeah. Keep them out of the hand, but keep them. Do we want to amend? the actual rulings of the specials at all um we'll we'll keep them as is for now okay. i think um so let's do during the setup we'll set up the ring normally with letters okay. but we'll separate the specials into their own little pile Oops, sorry. To be a okay. large portion of ours in this corner. So we'll go ahead and take the first one that we drew. And I don't know, where should it go? Maybe like in the middle? Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. Put that in the middle. Um, and we'll go from there. And everything else will be as normal. Okay. And I think once... Let's say that once it leaves the ring, like a ring, it leaves the board completely, then we draw another one at random. And maybe, like, I don't know how to do that. Like, just straight up replace the one in the middle? Or, like, hmm. I don't know how that would work, actually. Apparently, removing all the specials. Okay. Oh, I, don't, I think it would have been smarter to not do this. <laughs> you're, you're already... You're already going that that path. Might as well go full send. Yeah, it's too late now. You could have just drawn and then if you drew, you know, <laughs> redraw, but nope. Okay, all the specials have been removed. Okay, so let's draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, who goes first this time? Um, you went first last time, so I, I think I am up. Okay. You know, I was hoping that these would stack so we could draw from them, but they are <laughs> 20. I, oh, I, it was a sink. Oh, no. 
I could have sworn I made them stackable, but I don't know. Maybe because since them they're are, some of them are not. I'm not sure why. I think because they're different. Um, like I think you could stack the blacks on top of each other. Yeah. Yes, it appears that way. You can stack the black. You can stack them all the same like color and stuff, but. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is how we're playing at the moment, and I am up first, so. That didn't work. <laughs> I tried to put them into a group. Hmm. Oh well. Out my fun and quirky blanks. How am I supposed to make a <laughs> six letter long word? Bro, what am I supposed to do? I can't play the game anymore! <laughs> Alright. Egg. Ah, oh, yes, egg. I love egg. Egg. You have been egged. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Alright. We'll do. Uh, oh, is that a word? Wait, is that how you spell that? Rye? R H E Y? Rye? No, it's R Y E. That's rye. Dang. Yes. Rye. You know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of whey. Like curds and whey. Oh, yeah. That's W-E-H-Y, not R-E. I think it's W-H-E-Y. Right, yeah. Yeah, whey, W-H-E-Y. Rye is R-Y-E. Um. Maybe you're thinking of a rye. A-W-R-Y? Like things have gone awry? A W R. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. They have the same sound in there. That good old English language. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take another- I'm gonna take another lane of attack here. Okay. Hmm, that's a proper noun. You know, I knew what you meant, but there's also like different countries that use English and have a slang. So I was thinking of like British. Ah, uh, yes, it's a proper noun, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now that's that's a good one. That's a proper noun. It's a proper noun. <laughs> okay, I can, I was wanting to make a a four-letter word here, but um. I'll just go with row. Quaint. <laughs> Quaint. What a funny word. I don't know if you remember Ethan, but that was a meme for a little bit, the word quaint. Yes, I do. I do remember that. That was actually from one of the first times we actually ever uh, interacted properly. I think, because that Probably. was uh, that was at while. that was at the very first D and D session I went to. Oh uh, yeah, you know I, I talk about that moment quite often, um, and I was explaining to uh, Jordan, the friend we played with the other day. Yeah. Um, the other playtest, he was we we worked together, so I was kind of explaining to him just uh, some of the uh, cute and fun D and D stories that we had, <laughs> and I I got to give him the spiel of. The amazing character that was Quilmont Bill put back, <laughs> and he he was beside himself with uh, confusion and maybe <laughs> a little bit of a wonderment. Ah, uh, Quilmont. I explained to him the uh, the grudge points system. If you remember that. My my greatest achievement in character building, for sure. The um the uh, I'm holding a grudge, but ultimately. <laughs> 
It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. True neutral. Oh, man. Yeah, true neutral in about five sets of quotation marks. Uh, he went out with a bang. You Actually, still, you still enjoy Five E or? I like Five E. Yeah. I I think eventually, maybe within the next year or so, it kind of just depends on how my life goes. But I'll, I'll probably start up another campaign. It'd be fun to play with you if you're interested. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I'll probably be on the other side of the state <laughs> by then. Well, yeah, I play mostly um, over Discord these days. Ah, true. Just use Roll20.net. It's okay. And we use webcams. Mm -hmm. I, I can see that you have a webcam. So. Yeah. Well, this is my laptop camera. You can play from yeah. that. If, if you, you can if you want. I'm not saying you have to. But A topic for another time. Yeah. I need to come up with a word. And I'm not sure how to do that. You know, I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually um, playing a... Well, I should be in it playing a session this week with uh um, of 5e yeah 5e yeah i mean what is it not 5e you know what i mean i mean you like 4e i like I don't know what you get up to these days maybe you maybe you sit around with the old 4e handbook i i actually don't own the 4e handbook uh i just like talking about it but you know oh really you can get it i have a 4e <laughs> handbook how do you not i don't <laughs> I, even play it you can find it online i mean that's how i played it I mean that's fair. I, I I own most of the books, but I also download a digital copy just because. Am I allowed to say that? Officially, this is a joke and this is a jape. Uh, For legal reasons, I do not. Did Actually, you play? Yeah, yeah. I I made the word own right over here on the right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I should be playing one. I should be playing a session this week. I was supposed I to do it last Thursday, but um, it got canceled. In person or? In person, yeah. Nah, uh, that's the way to play. Um, I would like. I I've been thinking about um some world building for a setting of my own to run a campaign in. You should um, if you ever, like I said, you're one of the most fun DMs I've ever played with. So if you ever decide that you want to get an online campaign starting consider me interested well thank you yeah I, I i i'm planning it around my own i guess my own proprietary rules light system um okay. I, don't th I don't think it's the right word for it but uh, it's the it's the one that i made up um so i've been working be on that off and on hey. yeah i consider um I am a criminal justice major, and that will probably be my career, but I consider world building and fantasy writing to be my passion, though I don't have the uh, the drive or the, um, the guts to pursue it, which is a different topic, but I love world building, so. Yeah, I've been, I've been. Go on, go on, go on. I said I definitely feel the urge to just world build whenever. Yeah, I've been dabbling a little bit with this world. Like, I've never properly done world building. Like, I've made campaigns, but I've never, like, thought in depth about the world that it's in. It's a very engaging process. Like, because you got to make up history and, like, what kind of technology does this place have? Like, how did these borders end up the way they are? Stuff like that. Yeah, funnily enough, I uh, when I build a campaign, I actually work backwards like that. Or I guess forwards in time. I start from an origin build a history and then eventually somehow land up to and this is what the players will interact with which is kind of counterintuitive because they'll they'll never know right and silently yeah. you hope somehow they find out maybe they'll pick up a history book the lusty argonian made and they'll, they'll try to read it mm -hmm. yeah i start with um i start with the theology of the world like the creation myth all that yeah, stuff yeah that's usually where i start from as well i actually for one of my classes it is a short story class the, the short story I submitted was, um, and they'll never know this, I already had it pre-wrote up. I edited it for the class, but it was the theology mm. of my world. <laughs> so, it was the tale of one of the characters kind of expanded for the class, but it was mm -hmm. the theology of the world. So, I guess technically my, my world building has its own short story series. Did you win? Is, is G-O-W a word? Gow? I, um, I don't think so 
Also, um, with our current rules, we didn't set a letter for this. For the middle. You're right. How would that work? Uh, I didn't think about that. Because otherwise, that's just a hole in the <laughs> a hole in the board. Yeah, uh, I think so. Maybe putting it in, in anywhere but the rim might be a flawed system. Or I mean, we could keep it as a block there, and like you gotta push it out. Um, but true. But then, but then it becomes becomes a more of a black tile than a downward arrow tile. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we keep it like this, then we could just remove the black tile entirely. That is awesome. Interesting thoughts, to be yeah. sure. Um, but let's see. What does is, what is Scrabble say? Is Gal a word? I need one. Gal? 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 I'm not. I'm not. No, it is not a word. Okay. Although it apparently appears to be a Scottish form of gull. I'm not, I'm not sure. But Scrabble doesn't consider it a word. Oh, you gotta hit that gal! Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's a word for our current, current use. Score some gals! Some gals! Let's go, England! Let's go, England! Boom, boom! Score some fucking gals! <laughs> Alright. But to conclude, yes, world building is fun. I like it a lot. Oh yeah, that's, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, I've been, I've been like, it's, it's sort of, um, I don't know, if themed is the right word. It's styled after sort of like ancient Mesopotamia, okay. um, like Central America, Mexico, Spain, like all the Spanish speaking, like Spanish speaking world. It's sort of stylized after that so i've been looking up like what kind of technology did the aztecs use and stuff like that interesting i think maybe after i'm done with um st streaming the process of making this game i'll do uh i'll start up world some world building streams i think that'd be fun do do not do it yeah no nope. do not even think about doing it does it work does it work does not work if i had just the letter o i could win this round but i don't <laughs> oh so sad it's truly don't want to leave oh man I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to not win this round because I feel like the, the victory is just it's right on the cusp it's right there I mean it's right I, there. Mean, if I, I feel like if I don't win this round you win I, I mean if, I need to win but I definitely don't need to lose if you flub this up you're a fraud I mean <laughs> there's not much on the line just that I unfortunately have no plays, so I just have to make a word. Ooh, Ryle. And unfortunately, I'm not sure if uh, you know this, but R I L is not a word. Hmm. Real does not appear to be a word. Okay, it's now my time to shine. Ayo, ayo. Okay, both of the. I was like, okay, well, I can't build anything off of this. Let me go the other side. Let me see. Oh, oh, it's the same. Yep. Uh, that's unfortunate.
<gasps> or is it? It is. Uh, dang, yeah. I'm missing a letter. Crap. Having all those specials and then taking them away is really <laughs> dumping me down. I need my B button. What am I supposed to do without the B button? If I can't just spam crown and cannon, <laughs> what is the point of playing? Uh, okay, uh, new plan. Dang it! Wait. Wait, but that doesn't make anything. You're a, uh, an old PS2 fan. Do you ever play any Resident Evil games? I have not. Really? Um, yeah, I tend to steer away from, from horror games in general, though. So... Yeah, Resident Evil. I I totally respect Resident Evil for, you know, being Resident Evil. I just yeah. haven't played it. Well, they added um, Wesker. If you're familiar with the character to Dead by Daylight. I do know Wesker. The most the most uh exposure I have to Resident Evil is speedrunning. Like I've watched some speedruns of it before. Uh, okay. Um Nemesis is already in Dead by Daylight. They have now added Wesker. He's pretty cool. He's a lot of fun. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, speaking Ouch. of Dead by Daylight, did you ever finish the dating sim? I know you're playing that. Oh, uh, I mean, we finished the the first run. The the kind of beauty of that game and most visual novels to play it over and over and over i have not done any subsequent runs although i should because um, the comedy in that game is quite fun it's, <laughs> it can be a little too much cringe sometimes a little too much cringe like <laughs> as can, in I like only... written badly cringe or like awkward no, social cue cringe yeah the letter it, i mean it's you know it's, it is funny but it's you know, a dating sim of you know murderers exactly what it sounds like. It can be kind of viscerally cringe at points. Yeah. Hold on. Like, oh my god, what am I doing? I found that I'm pretty resilient to cringe overall. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can be pretty resilient too, but uh, you weren't there for it, I don't think, but or maybe you were. Towards the end, part of the, the, um, the closer on the path that we were on was putting lotion on the, the spirit, the character's <laughs> toes. And yes. I could only handle so much of that. I mean, maybe you were there for the first time. I don't know if you were there for it again, but it, it did happen again. Oh, I was there for the first one, but uh. Yeah. You end up doing it again, and that's kind of like your your romantic moment with them, and it's just, it was just too much, man. I can't believe it's a mini game too. The the toe mini game. Yeah. It's brilliant. And, yeah, the mini game was back, and it was you know even harder this time because you should have the hang of it. It was it was it was something else, man. I can only handle so much. Um, but I hear and I've seen some other screenshots of, of uh, other characters kind of paths and the game could be very interesting and it's got you know even some paths that you might consider a failure and those are interesting so it encourages you to play all of it because it's like uh, you know Doki Doki where you start to get dialogue from outside the game mm -hmm. essentially you know some fourth wall breaks more yeah. so um, as you play more it starts the game starts to be aware that you're playing it so much it's, from what I hear, very interesting, but I'm not sure if I'll ever do it. Maybe I'll just look it up. Well, I hope you have a plan, because I do. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to win this turn. I definitely have a plan. Yep. <laughs> oh, I can hear your confidence. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, chat. Look at this. Look at this. See that? Boom, boom. 
boom, boom. Do that, boom, boom. That's the win. That's the play. You'll never see it coming. It's quite difficult. I th my hand is just terrible. <laughs> come on, come on. There's 16 letters on the rim there. You can't make one word. No, I can make words. I'm trying to win. Oh yeah, that's the issue. That's the, therein lies the problem. <laughs> can't even make a word inside of a word so I can push something completely out and have a winning word. Hmm. Oh? No, that doesn't help. Damn, I thought, I thought for a second. I was like, haha, I've done it. No. <laughs> well, I think I have to concede the, the loss on this one, don't I? I don't know. I don't know. Rib. Rib. I don't think that gets me anything. You have any nice ribs for Labor Day? Um, no, but I did have ribs that weekend though. Yo. Oddly enough. Let's go. You know, I I meant to like cook myself a burger on Labor Day. Um, but I forgot to thaw it out the day before. So I had yeah. to do the next day. I'm not a huge barbecue guy, but if I am going to eat barbecue, ribs is my preferred barbecue to eat. It's just so light. Whereas most other barbecue is quite heavy. True. Yeah, but that's also because there's there's not very much meat on the bone. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. But Which, it's, uh, it's very lean. Low in fat. It's one of the lowest fat areas in the body. Do you see where I'm? Do you see where I'm going with this? Ganondorf. Ganondorf, <laughs> bro. Um, no, I'm not sure that I do. Oh crap! It's because I didn't think. <laughs> I, th I I thought like for sure, like yeah, I'll play Nag, and I'll win with Nag, but I forgot that the G goes God, there the and G not. Does not yeah. Oh, I'm so stupid. Won. I'm a moron. In fact, all you've done is make it easier for me to win. Gosh dang it. Assuming I get good letters. Unless, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, no. Ra, gani, enter, enter. Ra, uh, uh. Oh, how the cookie crumbles. No, no, I doubt. I, chat, I promise this isn't scripted. Uh, I just messed up. I'm a streamer is a paid actor and I'm I a will be I will be claiming my W. I'm a poopy head. You hear that? I'm a poopy head. Nerd. <sighs> uh lucky for you, I drew garbage letters. Absolute bottom of the barrel. Well, it's sure. it's open now. It's open to anybody. Surely I could win with gag. Nag, sorry. Okay. I gotta hit these letters out of my hand, and I still don't think I win. Um, but I've looked at every angle, and I can't make a word with all these terrible letters. Thoughts Jeez. on adding a play clock? Play clock could be interesting, although word games can be quite difficult. Yeah, true. Um. Anyway, you interrupted my funny pun. Um, <laughs> couldn't make a word because all my letters were too niche. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not it's not well, what would you call that? It's it's, it's wordplay. It's yeah. wordplay. Um, hold on, I'm checking to see if I won. 
Ick. On. That's almost a word. Almost if that N was sense. an M, you would have won. So is ICH. Ick. If you had. I think if you had Psalm Guard's command, you might have been in good shape here, but. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, not running that in this deck. <laughs> not even in the right colors. Hold on. Checking. Is Isha word? Ick. Ick. Yes, it is. No, I it's not. H is a word. In what dictionary? The Shakespearean one. The Shakespearean dictionary? Get, come off it. <laughs> it's a valid Scrabble word. Let me see. I need to see for myself. This is just like that time, that, that one, what, what did Jordan play in the play test that he did the other day? He played some ridiculous sounding word that didn't seem real. But it was. I'm not sure. I C H. Pronoun. Personal. Obsolete. Meaning I. It's also a parasitic infection of a freshwater fish. Yeah, it's. A Look at this chat. Look at this bullshit. Ick. I have one. Ick. It says. Ben a disease of certain fishes. What? Who, who, who makes these up? Who makes these up? Who's on the word committee here? Making up these dumb words. Read them and weep, streamer. Good I game. Good game. Good game. Good game. That one lasted longer, but I'm not sure it had quite the crazy goofiness. The, the goofs? End. The gaffs? Well, here's another idea that I had. Okay. I think, I think that one works. It's not as exciting. Right? The one we just did. But here's another idea. What if you can use specials as blanks, but you can only use them as a double letter? Right? So, what if you could do, like... Is there a D in here? Pretend that this is a D. The point you're making it could be the yeah. word need. So it can only you can only use it as a letter in a double is... letter. You couldn't use it as like a D. Just a good joke on you. <laughs> you can only use it as needed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I should I should I should I should pay my my actors more. That's a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to try that. I think about that. Because, like, it still lets you use them in, you know... In your hand. In your hand, but, like, it's it's much more... You need to think about it more to use them. Oh, I did jot down some more notes while I was thinking uh, of it. Um, okay. Making vertical lock um, specials. So give these locks, not a lot of fun. Making them vertical. Oh, right. Nice. So... Um, and, Currently, I think you have a lot more arrows than you do locks, and I think it should be the other way around. I think locks are more interesting. I would like to see them more. More. Let me get a second note pad here. Yeah, more locks. And locks. Making them vertical would be a lot of fun. Less arrows. Well, the uh, the intention currently is that you could just orient them in whichever direction you want when you yeah, okay, so you, when you so play. graphic them. pending. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cause I. I think orienting them is fine for the time being, but it looks kind of goofy. So, yeah, graphic pending, graphic pending. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I didn't know if that would be a thing, and so I thought that would be interesting. Is uh, seeing locks be vertical and horizontal? I would think that would be really fun. Um, yeah. And then I, I also wrote just more locks as opposed to arrows, which is silly. So. I think it's a good idea. Uh, you know, it's actually, the thing I worried about with locks is that they would be sort of the odd one out because they're like. They're a little bit harder to explain and to understand, I think. Um, or um, at the very least, they're harder to write rules for concisely. Um, like I to think, explain I think, concisely. I think, yeah, explaining concisely, maybe, maybe not the case. It will be a little bit more wordy than arrows. But I think the concept, once you start playing, is rather quite simple. Yeah. And um, 
a lot of fun, especially when compared to the arrows that face away from the typical direction of reading, like the arrows that face to the left from the right. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, well, I can't win with a word from right to left, but I don't really think about that anyway. So it's just. And then, like I said earlier, when I wrote down the notes between different arrow interactions being kind of derivative when when thinking about um, a black, so it's like the red gets completely eaten up with the blue, so like kind of like blue and black are similar. Black doesn't let you win at all. I understand that, but blue yeah. lets you win a specific way. Yeah, you, we talked about that earlier. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, like they're they're they they cancel each other out. Yeah, maybe maybe derivative's not the word I'm thinking of, but. Redundant, their, I think. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Their their interactions, I think, aren't nearly as as complex as locks and theme, because locks and practice are a lot more, I think, a lot more interesting, especially given the the Rubik nature of how this game plays, where we're, mm -hmm. we're moving left to right, and then if you block off a left to right, so I can only go, I mean, top to down and left to right, so I can only yeah. go this one direction. And then having multiple of them block off specific rows, I think really fun so i'm looking forward to that but i think in its current state there's not enough locks okay yeah i think i think you're on the right track there i think that makes sense that's kind of the vibe i get from this game is a, a lexicon rubik's cube hybrid thing yeah it's very it's it's um it's like a it's a sliding puzzle right essentially did we shuffle yeah. this yes i shuffled it quite well, I think. Okay. Although now I'm not sure, because I'm not getting any specials. <laughs> uh, uh, can I get a... They are in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Let's play this game with specials. <laughs> also, no specials. <laughs> no, nothing. Okay, so we're playing with, um, you can only use them as a double letter, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay, I got some specials in my hand. Three, four, so double five, letter, whether six, it be vowel or consonant, seven, you can eight. use them yes. as needed. Okay, okay. Do I need to have the letter prior to use it? Like, if, like if I want to make the word need and I have an N and a D, can I use them both as E's? Like if you have two specials? Yeah. I don't see why not. I think that would work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I don't see why not. Because it still, it still requires you to have a somewhat specific set of letters in order to use them like that. You know, to like contextualize them. You know, maybe maybe the, the issue from this game is that you're, we're collectively, we're both looking at it too structured. Maybe the fun, and when you write up the rules, is having different play modes, different rule variants. Or keeping it like Uno, where the, the rules are sort, sort of open-ended and there can be different ways to play it. And True. obviously we need to find the most balanced way to be kind of the original way. Mm -hmm. And not have things just completely chaotic. But maybe, like, maybe we're trying to apply too much structure. Like house rules. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, that is kind of the beauty of a, a board game in general. Yep. It's like, unlike a video game, there aren't any programmed, like, behaviors. You can just play the game however you want. People consider Uno to be a game that the company doesn't even know how to play correctly. You know what I mean? <laughs> the players yeah. who play it at home, they know how to play. Okay. Back to the game. Uh, gotta go ahead and use... Um, some specials the way I had mentioned them. Something like that. I'm gonna do two E's here. And then an R. A seer. Ooh, exotic. Bam. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
you know, another idea to solve the memorization issue is, and this would be a pretty big change, a change, you could just take all of the vowels or even certain consonants and instead of having this white scrabble background, make those letters the specials. And it could be it could be completely varied, but like in the background, similar to your other game, have them operate as the special. And that would even help with the orientation of some arrows. So you don't get to choose how, how the letter becomes, mm -hmm. but you can still put that special in play as a letter. So it's like, it's an E, but it's also a special that, that you can push out and use to your, as your to your discretion. I that, got that you. That would obviously be a letter, uh, a big change. And then you can also keep blanks in to be letters that you'd have to memorize, but it'd be significantly less memorization. Or actually, this is something that I considered uh, doing. Um, and we could combine this idea into this idea that you're having is that I considered having a series of special tiles that were like, um, what are they called? I think they're called like die, dia, dialectics or something. Basically it's two letters that are, show up commonly next to each other. It's like T H C H, um, E E stuff like that. That could, what, that, could, that could be a good idea too. Yeah, like the special tiles have these have these special letter combinations attached to them, uh, just fixed to them. You know, um, I think that make it a little more interesting than them being just simple letters. Um, yeah. it makes them harder to implement into a into a word. That I could also see a cool special tile of having it be either or letters, but I think blank is just a better version of that. Mm -hmm. But I think the uh, two letters per block on some of those common combinations would be quite interesting. Well, it could even be like an uncommon combination too, like TI or something, you know, just as an example. I'm just, difficult. yeah, I'm yeah. just throwing that out there, but. I like that idea. Yeah, I do too. Uh, and maybe that can take place of the uh, the black specials. Seeing as those are getting the, the least amount of usefulness. Mm -hmm. In the current state of the game. In its current version. Alpha 1. <laughs> Whatever Pre version it's on. Pre-beta in-dev. Oil. Wow, I I might be at an impasse. I have no vowels in my hand. I've got to use some of these vowels on the outside. Okay, I am in luck. What are you doing? Opt. Ooh, fancy. What I have now. Get out of here. Opt, opt. Hmm. I wonder if you opt to have done that. I definitely did. <laughs> yeah. oh, um, oh we're about to get funny in here we're about to get real funny are you ready for this i don't think you are i don't think you are Definitely dang. Oh, it's so funny. It's funny because it's a drug. Oh my gosh. Oh. Be gone. Oh, I wanted to do that. Nope. Taking all your glory. Oh 
Oh boy, we can only win left to right. Yeah, Top good luck, one. pal. Good luck. Not the default reading order. <laughs> Anything but that. Lost the game. Nani, no. It's not possible. What do you Nani. think you're doing? <laughs> Gam? Yeah, cool yes. word, buddy. Read him and weep. Cool Gam. word, buddy. Gam. That's not real. Uh, actually, it's a special disease for, for primates in the Middle Hold East. On. Consulting the dictionary. Uh, uh, actually. Um, actually. Fuck to off. Be absolutely blown away. Is gam a valid Scrabble word? Look at this bullshit. Gam. Look at to this. Visit, <laughs> to visit socially between whaling ships. It's so stupid. <laughs> no. You didn't know that was a word. You, you just made that up. Yes, I did. <laughs> I regularly gam. You just pulled that out of your ass. Come on now. <laughs> to My visit father was a gammer. <laughs> to... <laughs> My father was a gammer. <laughs> Mother didn't like <laughs> Oh, my God. GG, right, I guess. Gosh, let's get dang. another game with these rolls. That's insane, dude. I can't believe it. I think, okay, I'll say this. I think that's good data, because I think the special the special tiles a lot harder to use. Yeah, um, they are. And they definitely, you, the game without them is a little bit easier. Yeah. Alright, let's give this a good shuffle. The intention was shuffle. always that there was only like a few on the board at a time. And like flooding the grid so i think little, this keeps it in check a little bit little did you know <laughs> the more the better it's I, I think the biggest problem is when they're in the hand in the hand they are just so powerful on the board i think they're working as intended yeah but they are they are just so strong as 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 tiles as complete blanks yeah they're they're insane they Spread on the board. Uh, the th hand, let's go. This is gonna have to be the last uh, game for yeah. the session. I think we've got a lot of data so far. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, who goes I think first? Europe first. <laughs> Europe. Europe. <laughs> oh, I love Europe. Europe. Um, that's Europe. that. Th okay, so this is gonna be hard to work off of. Um, there aren't very many words that start with a double letter. Um. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, there are some, but they're pretty long. Like. Aardvark. Aardvark. <laughs> Oops, maybe. That might count. Or. Oops, yeah. E eek. Eek. Like to eke something out, if that's how you spell that. Hmm. Perhaps it's the double letter meta needs the to be shifted. Something to think about, though. This is why you play test. Yeah. I mean, you could also try to counter that by pushing it out from the other side. That so you can true. free up that area. Bald. Bald indeed. Thoughts? Um, I'd rather not go bald, if that's what you're asking. Mm, true. Coward. This is a stack of five. This blank right here. <laughs> Perhaps oh. that's the problem, is that they're stacking up. Oh no. 
no wonder we're not. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is not Zach. It's Red Arrow. Um, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that was the problem. Alright, I hit shuffle on the actual bag. So hopefully. Alright. Do something, I dare you. I'm shaking in my boots. What about this? Do we count automatopias? Oof. Oof? If gam is a word, they gotta count oof. I mean, surely. At least as a colloquialism. Well, I can't believe I got that word first try. That word is my nemesis. You wouldn't know it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, An interjection used to express discomfort. Oof. I definitely feel discomfort when I say it. <laughs> Ew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe we could do uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Oh, dang, I have such a good word. I gotta remember, though, that, like, it's less about making really long words and about making, like, uh, precise words. You know, plays. it's like I have such a long word. Let me put that in there. It's like it doesn't do anything for you. It's just a those really word long word. With, those words within words, OP. Absolutely game breaking. <laughs> oh. Bust out the the word part. It's game over. <laughs> Let me check something. Gam is a word. That's what you're doing. No. <laughs> I know that for sure now. That's a, that's ingrained in my memory. Yo, ho, ho, yo, wait. Check it. Checking. Egg. Egg. Yes. Impressive. Impressive. How the meta hath <laughs> And now there's a lock, baby. Vertical lock. Cool. Try that on for size. You think that scares me? You've only made me more powerful. It's all coming together. I see your vertical lock and I raise you. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Also R as an E. Ream? Ream. No, that can't be. 
That can't be. That's a pretty normal word. To ream something? Ream? I think it's spelled R-E-A-M. No. Uh, nautical. To open something. <laughs> what? No, it cannot be. Maybe? You're using some- you're using Urban Dictionary. That's what's going uh, on. You got Urban Dictionary opened up. Okay. I'm getting so many different definitions for the same word from so many different websites. The jury's well, out on this one. If you check the Scrabble dictionary, the official Scrabble dictionary. It says no, you're right. It's not gonna be in there. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. I can I can I can change this. Get, get As this we all back. know Hasbro Look. is the authority. As if it never happened. Real okay. Alright. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> Okay, so we're in an interesting scenario here. <laughs> what is this? Wait, this isn't anything, actually. Right? No, that was put there. Oh, um, it's it's an E, right? Probably. It's probably an E. Um. I used it. What did I use it for? <laughs> I don't know. Well, herein lies the problem with memorizing, right? <laughs> yeah, right. It's probably, most likely, an E. Because that's next to other E's. It's next to yeah. E's. Yeah. Oh! It was the O for oof. Ooh. The O down here. Yes, it's an O. Okay. It's an O. Yeah, that's why there's an F here. Yeah, okay, okay. We're back on track. <laughs> it's all over. As long as this is a real word. No. 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 Dang. Okay. Well, I tried. Um. Poor. Try as you might. You cannot win. Oh, yeah. We'll see. A... Oh. Oh. I see it. A vision. <laughs> All I need to do is set it into place. But how? I think it's actually impossible. Wait. No, it's not. Foy. Foy. No. Cripe. Can't move it like that either. All right, you know what? I'm going to go with... Uh... You're kind of you're kind of screwing me here a little bit. <gasps> Nay. Firm. No. Yes. You mustn't. This puts me firmly in the lead. You'll see. Is that a win? I think it is. Yeah. Because he bumped out the vertical, and then the word fur is in there. No, no, it's not. Is it? Yes, it is. You've won. Fur? But fur isn't a word, is it? Fur is a type of tree. 
Oh, it is. It is a word. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> have we, have we, when's the last time we won, like, knowing that we were going to win? <laughs> knowing, knowing <laughs> that you were going to win, and knowing that the word in the middle was a win, like... not, not, you know, a verb that means visiting other whaling ships. <laughs> <laughs> like, all of these have been accidental. But yeah, fur, fur is a win. GG. Yeah, GG is well done. Well, good stuff. I think this is a good uh, test. I think the game is fun at its core. I think it's a fun game to play. Yeah, it's um, definitely fun. Uh, even play testing and not knowing what rules work. It's like, like I said, it's one of those games that maybe maybe having a strict definition for how to play yeah. might not work in its favor. Like, more like suggestions, like, you know, these could be blanks, or you can, uh, you know, not have them be blanks. You could, you could choose not to play with the special tiles at all if you want, I guess. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think that's good stuff. Do you have any, um, any closing thoughts, any closing notes that maybe you didn't share with me yet? Uh, um, no, those are, I, I told you all the notes that I had. Um, and, uh, I don't, no, I had fun. I'm not a big Scrabble guy, but this game is, is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, that Rubik Cube style, mm -hmm. very interesting. And I think, I think locks make it a lot more interesting. Playing yeah. with the, the verticality and the horizontal nature of the game is really fun. The, uh, I start, the, the concept I started with when I started brainstorming this one is, uh, like the most fun part of Lexa Causeways, the game that we played before, um, was just uh, was building up a word in my hand for a duel, and then like making a long word. Um, yeah. Like the act of making words was the f most fun part. So I'm like, well, what if I make a game that is just making words? It's just making words. Um. But, but n not have it be literally that with scrabble you know yeah has nothing else going on uh-huh well scrabble you have to fit it into like a crossword that's where the challenge of that yeah. game comes from um but this one is different because like you're not fitting it into a context you're just making it well actually where was i going with that i think i think the what makes this game different is the the words and a puzzle aspect. In yeah. my opinion, Scrabble, fitting the puzzle and the crossword is not that much. It's not that, you know, you play Scrabble, it's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. The most difficult part is getting more points than your opponent. Yeah, it's a it's a vocabulary um, challenge. Very much so. Uh, but this one, not so much. So. <laughs> what can be if you want to win? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do. You are at an advantage if you know more words than your opponent. Um, but I knew gam before <laughs> I came in here. That's I I was lost. I was thinking that the nature of them being three letter words would lessen that a bit because like you know three letter words are simpler words most of the time. Um, most of the time, yeah. So yeah, I think I think we have a good game on our hands here. It's just the specials need some adjusting. Let me look at the notes that I took. Um, yeah, the younger player goes first. Specials have letter restrictions. Um, the black tile. We didn't really... The black tile happened like one time. Um, yeah. Start the special in the setup. I think... Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I do prefer them having having them in my hand. I think the the double letter rule helped, but I think I like the sort of they each are assigned a fixed letter combination idea a lot. Uh, so I think I'll try that for the next iteration, uh, and that solves that solves both of the problems uh, the memorization and them being too strong yep so I, I we'll try that next time uh i do like adding more locks than arrows uh locks definitely like you said they they throw a wrench into it 
without it being like like you're centralized around using the arrows right it's just enough disruption to make it interesting mm -hmm. and to introduce wanting to get rid of them more than the arrows yeah the arrows you, you kind of just want to work around the the locks you definitely want to you want to get rid of them yeah maybe i mean, maybe we just like I don't know. Maybe we just put only locks in there. Well, maybe some blanks. I think we keep. I think we keep blanks. We definitely keep locks. Mm. Perhaps get rid of one type of arrow. Yeah, like, like either just the red or either just the blue. Yeah, I think. I think the red arrows. Well, I don't know arrows are more impactful by themselves whereas red arrows are more impactful the more you have so it, yeah it depends on what where you want to take the game if you mm -hmm. want more specials in there and want more specials to be a part of it um i think that would will go really well with the havoc set combinations on the actual specials mm -hmm. um but if you want to keep the game where the specials can be either double or you know whatever you need them to be for whatever um then I think it would make sense to have more. It's, it just depends. Well, uh, giving me a lot to think about. Thank you again, Ethan. Like, thank thanks a yeah. lot for for agreeing to be here and playing the game with me. I uh, uh, I am a big fan of not to toot your horn. I'm a big fan of everything that you make. It is all. It's usually a lot of fun. So, um, if you need more playtesting for this game, for sure, let me let me know. I'm I'm more than happy to take a look at my schedule and see if I can't fit it in. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's always yeah. good to have uh I was going to play this just by myself if if uh for some reason you weren't able to show up, but this is much more valuable. Yeah, it's a definitely a game that's um more fun with even just one other person. Like I feel like we had a lot of fun in the games that didn't last too long. We got into quite a few. Um testing those rules were, real, were really fun as well. Mm -hmm. But I will I will let you wrap up stream and like I said if you need me again let me know. Okay. Well, um I was checking to see if there's anybody to raid tonight. Uh I know that a Siric started streaming again, which is exciting. Uh but it looked like he wrapped up his stream some time ago. So, uh I'm just gonna go ahead and end the stream here right now. So thank you everybody who is here live or might be watching uh, after the fact on the YouTube channel. Uh, I appreciate you being here, supporting the stream. I will be here to... No, I will be here tomorrow from 2 to 5. 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. I will be playing Cold Sept. Um, picking up where we left off there. Uh, if you like board games, actually, Coldcept is a is a board game video game for the PlayStation 2. Um, it's like Monopoly plus Magic the Gathering. Very weird game. But I'm playing that right now. So if you're into that, I'd love to have you. If not, and you're just you're just here to watch more uh more of this game, um, that will be on Monday from six to eight, just like today. And I think that's all I got. Uh, Ethan, any any final words you like to uh, you like to give to the internet while you're here? Um, smash that like button. <laughs> that's right. Thank you. know what? I, you get a raise. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, that's it for tonight. Good night. Uh, I wish you all a a good Thursday. Have a great Thursday morning, and uh, catch you next time. Goodbye, everybody.